In this tutorial, we will show the basic tools for working with a timeline and teach how to quickly mount a video. Well do it on the example of creating this video. Under the video there is a link for downloading all the materials that were used in this lesson, so that you would have the opportunity to repeat and learn how to work on the timeline faster. All materials are already in the project window. Create a sequence. Choose the aspect ratio 16 by 9. For more detailed information about creating a sequence, watch our another tutorial. Link is in the description. The sequence is ready. Add music. To change the timeline scale, use these buttons, plus and minus. You can control this clip. If you have a touchpad, you can control through it. Select the first video and place it on the timeline. Choose the moment where a person appears in the frame. And the rest of the video can be trimmed in such a simple way. Grab the edge and pull. You can also return it back. You can also use the razor tool to trim the video. Press C on the keyboard. Click on the place where you want to cut. And the video is divided into two parts. Next, switch to the selection tool mode. Press V on the keyboard. And remove the excess part of the video. The third option is to trim the video. We set the moment where you want to trim. And press W on the keyboard. So we trim the right side with the rest of the materials to the left. But if you do not have other tracks blocked, then they will be cut too. To cancel the last action, press Command plus C. To avoid cropping other tracks, lock the tracks by pressing the lock. In this video we will make transitions to the sound of bits. Select the next footage in the project window and double click. Choose an entry point. Press I on the keyboard. And the exit point. O button on the keyboard. And drag to the timeline of the selected area. Press W and crop the excess part of the video. We pass to the next footage. Double click. Hotkeys I and O select the desired fragment. Instead of the pulling by hand. Press the button on the keyboard. By pressing the key, the footage is placed on the left side. By placing the pointer between the view on the timeline and inserting the selected part, the material is shifted to the right.
Trim the rest of the video according to the music. Do the same with the following file. Select entry and exit points. Move to timeline with the W key. Choose this part of the video where the guy beautifully glides on a skateboard. And make a smooth slowdown of this trick. Press the FN button. And select time remapping. Here select the fragment that we want to slow down. And pull down to slow down the playback speed. For a smooth change in speed. Work with these sliders and make the curved line smoother. Pull the video under the sound clip. Choose an entry and exit point. You can drag the selected area by left clicking. Selected and clicked video on the timeline. Found the place of gluing and press W. Slip tool. When a part of our video has already been selected, and we cannot change the duration, but the fragment does not suit. We can use this tool. Press E this will allow us to change our fragment without changing the duration of the fragment. Select the next fragment. We set entry and exit points. Transfer to timeline. Now I want to use this sound clip for this video. To do this, I need to place the file closer to this effect. Using the rolling editing tool. He drags the places for gluing the video. This fragment will slow down and increase its duration. Select the red stretch tool. Press R on keyboard. And stretch. Fine.
Now I will cut the frames from the video in those areas where there is no music. And we get such an effect. Select the next fragment and add it to the timeline. Take the fragment where the skater moves up. and substitute it onto the next frame to look beautiful and organic. We remove the block on the soundtrack and remove the excess part. Now let's make a smooth dimming and fading of the music at the end of the video. We put a point in the place where the blackout begins on the last frame. We did linear dimming. The dimming with the curve dynamics will look better. To do this, right click on the points and select one of the dynamics options. Choose Bezier. And adjusting the blue stripes. We can adjust the smoothness as we need. We do the same thing with music. We set the points, and build a curve of attenuation. For quick and easy video editing, use off-the-shelf graphic elements. I have them collected in the Easy Edit Viewer window. You can find information about this free extension and materials inside by the link in the description. Here are the basic elements that are used in video creating. Titles. Infographics. Graphics for social networks. Lower thirds. Transitions and sound effects. Just by clicking on the template the credits go to the timeline. Click on the text in the plebeian and change it. In the effects controls window, change the scale. Set the duration you need. And change your position. It is important that when you change the duration of the titles, do not lose the initial and starting animation. Add lower third to this snippet. Select and click. Also, in the window essential graphics you can change the text, font, colors and more.
At the end of the video, put the YouTube style graphics. By double clicking on an element, you can immediately change the position, size and rotation on the playback. Beautifully set in the frame and done. Great, we can export our video. Click the file, export, media or command plus M, on the keyboard. Select the format, name the video, check the settings, then click export for the correct exported video from Adobe Premiere Pro to YouTube. Watch our another tutorial, link in the description.